have marked out my the material I need for this. So this is two two um two yards of Akara fabric, and the length of this short gown is this is forty inches for the full length, including the hemming allowance. So I added one inch hemming allowance for it. So for our kimono short dress now. I'll be, my, I'll be going over to the shoulder parts. This is the shoulder parts. So from the shoulder parts now, I'll mark out the neckline first. So I'll be using the four by four inch neckline. Four inch and four inch. So I'll make it in a block form so that I can draw out my... Remember that this fabric is I folded the front facing front that is this is the back part of it so I can easily draw chuck it down and it soon stain the front part this is the front part you see how it's shiny and this is the back part of it so I'll go ahead and trace it out and cover my neckline so now this is the shoulder it's a cut together sleeve that's the kimono part of a short gown so because it's a cut together sleeve, that's why it's referred as a kimono dress. So now on the shoulder part, I'll come down here by 2 inches. I'll come down by 2 inches. So I'll be joining this point to this point. Remember the, the block, this block pattern, I got it because I used my if measurement plus the inches I needed depending on how big or how full you want your dress to be so if you want it fuller you can decide to make it two and a half inch three inch sorry two and a half years or three in three years depending on how full you want your material or you want your short dress to to be so now I'll be connecting this point to this point So I've connected the point. So now I'll be marking out my horizontal, my vertical measurements from my shoulder. So I'll be marking my waistline, and my waistline is 16. Then my hip line is 24. Then the full length. So on my waistline, I will just come in by two inches. Because I want, I just want it to be very free, so I don't want it to um, to be a little bit smaller or a little bit not full. So I want it to be a full on my body. So I'll be coming in here by one inch. You can decide to come in by one and a half. So I'll use one and a half for it. So on this other hand side, I will come down by eight inches. Depend on how you want it to be, also. So if you want here to be, if you want your arm area to be big, you can decide to come down by 9, 10, 11, depending on how big you want it to be or how wide you want it to be. But for me now, uh, I think I'll decide to come down by 10, just connecting it down here and shape it up. So this is just what I need for it. As you can see, it's very nice. So I'm just going to mark out this place and cut off this place and this next side. So you see how I'll do it now. First of all, I'll cut out my neck, my back neck. On my back neck, I'll be dropping uh, one and a half or two inch, depending on your choice, but I'll be dropping one and a half for my own.
okay i've gone ahead to mark out my facing for it as you can see the facing so this is my back pattern this is my back um the back of my dress then this is the facing for the back uh, as you can see so now i'll go ahead and sew it i will turn it out like this see the front facing the front area so you fix it like this and stitch it up and stitch it up like this so now this is my front this is my front see the front dress and the front pattern the front pattern is a bit bigger because there will be a slit uh, a 5 inch slit down for the front so that's why it will be a bit deeper now this is my front pattern and you can decide to make your stitch 4 inch, 3 inch depends on your choice so now I will do the same thing but I'm not going to slant my own now I'm not going to slant my own now when I'm sewing it I will show you how I'll be able to slant it to make it easier and neater to make so some person decide to sew in their own join the dress that's joining joining the front back first before then join the interfacing that's the facing before joining to the dress but i'll do my i'll i'll turn my front first before turning the back then joining it you see how i'll do it then i'll get back to you so i'm going to put the front sleeves so now i'll put it i'll place it front facing front both my facing and my front dress now I'll go in there by half inch at the center of that place. At the center of this, I'm going by half inch. Then I'm going to sew it all day. I'll sew it to the extent I want it to be. I want mine to stop by four and a half inch. So I'll be using four and a half inch to so sew it. If I get here, I'll stop. I'll stop here, then I'll place my needle to use and hold it. I'll flip it on back like this. I hope the tutorial was helpful. If it was for you, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and see you next time. Bye!